morning. It is Sunday morning. Usually I am getting up to go to the gym. Not because I'm an overachiever. It's because I probably did some damage the night before. I feel really guilty about it. So I like to go on Sundays, uh, not as early as usual, but earlier to the gym to try to like, you know, make myself feel a little better. So anyways, this is actually my first ever vlog. So I've never done this before. So we're gonna take you around for my day with my family on a Sunday. Usually, I mean, like not much going on. Doing a little bit of uh, house cleaning, obviously. The house is a mess. <laughs> Got some dishes over here. Um, we always do like a Sam's run because we need to get some food and stuff for the house for the week. Um, and then we just kind of like hang out. So anyways, you can come along. Also, in case you wanna know my outfit, for the gym today. I'm wearing all Amazon. So I actually like, this is a second shirt like this that I purchased. I really like it because it's just like a little boxy tee. So these biker shorts are also another like absolute Amazon favorite. And I'm not just saying that I mean, these shorts for the price are amazing, especially if you want something that has like a little bit of compression. But I really like these because uh, I had a leopard one or I have a leopard one. This one, I don't know if you can see, it's like a navy, but it has this, um, let's see if I can turn it like this. It, okay, let me take you to the light. So it has this snake type of um, print. So I really, really like the, um, just like the prints. I really love them, but the material is amazing too because it's still like, kind of like moisture wicking, uh, but it's just like a really, really great pair of workout shorts that are not super expensive and look great. If I don't get this right, like it will spill all over me. So <laughs> I really need to get another shaker because this one is just, I think I got it there. <laughs> I have gone to the gym with like a white shirt and I'm like drinking this in the car. It's just like dripping and I have it like dribbling all down my shirt and it's not a good look. So, gotta do the test. Okay. So that was an amazing workout. I never regret a workout no matter how tired I am. Um, usually during the week, I like to, this mainly started whenever the girls were in school. I would go in this huge truck, really is trying to get real close. Sorry, there's like this monstrosity, a super duty Ford truck that got really close to my car. <laughs> so I live in Texas, so clearly everybody has a truck, including us. My husband has a truck as well. Um, <laughs> some of these trucks here are like, is there a need for the, the monstrosity that you have? Um, anyways, so um, I started going to the gym about 5.30 in the morning during the week when the girls were at school. So this kind of started last summer. No, when did I be? No, I lie. This started in January. January was whenever I, I finally got my membership here. I go to Platinum Fitness um, because it's $10 a month. I used to go to a very, like this is like pre-pandemic. We had like a family pass to go to Lifetime Fitness and um, we loved it because it's kind of like our little club. I mean, they had the, the kids section. It's open 24 hours. It's They have tons of machines they had classes they had the pools indoor and outdoor pools so the girls loved it we loved it but man it was like over two hundred dollars and every year it would keep going up so we ended up um after the pandemic when people weren't really going to the gyms we canceled the membership and we never went back because it was just like so expensive so um we started investing in sorry if you hear my um ac but it is hot um, so we started investing in like equipment and my husband and I would just work out at home, but I'm the type of person, like the motivation it, it, it's hit and miss with me. And especially if I'm in the comfort of my own home, it gets really difficult for me to just like 
I'm gonna go to the garage and work out, you know? So uh, I started gaining a lot of weight, uh, especially working from home. Um, my work is obviously in front of the computer. I do more back like scenes work with my blog than I do with content creation, like going out and like out in the town and doing stuff. So a lot of my work is very sedentary, sedentary where I sit a lot and I've gained a lot of weight. Um, I'm probably carrying an extra like 20 pounds. And so um, I was like, something's got to give. So obviously I know Platinum Fitness, it wasn't enticing for me, but um, the $10 was very enticing. And I was like, you know what? I just need a place to go. Uh, that will entice me to go. Um, so I found this one by my house. And so in, in January, so then I started going, um, but it just was like with the scheduling with my daughter's dance schedule and like school and all that, the, mo the most practical time for me to go was going to be like 5.30 in the morning, 6.30 before I had to get them ready for school. Um, so I had to make the effort and it took a lot of, uh, it took, it, it was a struggle at first because I started reading some like entrepreneur book, entrepreneur books. And a lot of them were talking about like, obviously maximizing your mornings and doing all that. And honestly, I was just being lazy. I was staying up till like 11 o'clock at night, watching my Bravo, my housewives, like all the Bravo shows. I'm a big fan. I watch them all. Um, and then I started just thinking, I'm like, is this working for me? Like, is this honestly like me watching Teresa <laughs> on the Housewives of New Jersey be cuckoo? Like, is this working for me? Like, is this doing something for my life? Um, so I started to cut out some of the shows or just started like recording them and watching them like on the weekend or something. Um, and I made the effort to get up super early to go to the gym. And so that's what I've been doing. I feel great. Like honestly in the morning, it's such a struggle. I've missed a few days because I'm just like, no, I'm, I'm sleeping in. But for the most part, whenever I go, like, I love it because there's nobody at the gym. Um, this gym actually is very, very like, there's hardly anybody that goes. So, so I love it. Um, and, but I always feel good. I always walk out like this with like my shirt, like completely soaked, my pants soaked um red but i absolutely love it you feel so much better whenever it's over so as long as you can get that over that hump of like getting up early um i think you'll be okay so anyways i am headed home now so you know another thing that i was thinking about as i was pulling out um is like making the sacrifice to do things that are hard um that's another one. i started reading atomic habits which really great book i know it's overhyped and it's for good for good reason it's overhyped um so i started reading atomic habits and it's talking about like little changes that you make in your life that like they build up to become drastic changes and ultimately life changes in your life and that was one of the things I, you know, I would get really down on myself about the weight that I've gained and I would, you know, but at the end of the day, it's not like I was doing much to alter like my eating habits. Not that I like eat, I don't go, I don't eat fast food. I don't eat, I, I eat a primero. Okay. You're fast, dude. What was the point of that? Um, sorry. <laughs> People here drive like maniacs. I'm going 45 in a 40, like, what do you want me to do? Um, anyways, so, lost my train of thought. But yeah, I was getting really down on myself about that. And like I said, I, I wasn't eating really bad. The one thing I was doing, it was intermittent fasting, like unintentionally. It's not like because I was doing it because they say to do it. It was just because that was just a habit whenever I worked in my corporate job was, you know, I'd get the girls ready for school and head off to work, which was like a 45 minute drive. And then when I get there, it was just like coffee until lunchtime. So I never really, that was just like the habit that I brought on as I started working from home. Um, even though I had the resources at home to just like go downstairs and like make myself some breakfast. But then I started noticing, I was like, maybe I'm just not eating enough. So I started incorporating breakfast, which is usually like high protein. So I'd make some eggs. I just started doing the cottage cheese thing. I know that's like very uh, popular right now. I cannot stand cottage cheese. I am very particular with my dairy. Like I don't even drink cow's milk anymore, um, but I will still have some cheese and you know. Uh, so I started incorporating this cottage cheese because they say it has like a lot of protein. 
and since I'm primarily plant-based, I will eat some fish now and again. Um, you know, coming up to sources that have high protein, which it's not impossible. It's just, again, me being lazy and not doing the work. Um, I just was like, well, I was just gonna, you know, <laughs> swallow this cottage cheese. But I, I came up with a recipe that's really good when you just do like a scrambled eggs on top of the cottage cheese. And then I have this like lemon cilantro sauce that I get from the store whenever we have like tacos at home and I just drizzle it on top and it's phenomenal it's so good don't even taste the cottage cheese like it just it's delicious so anyways yeah um but ever since I started you know really being a little bit more mindful with eating and then also going to the gym I usually go about three to four times a week and I mean I go hard like we are on the step mill we are lifting heavy weights um, ever since then I've been seeing a drastic change in my body but um, I think the reason that it's been so hard for me to just like I think whenever you want to you have a goal your mind really plays a part in it like you really have to um, be committed in your mind because if your mind is not in it like forget it like you can follow a plan all you want but if your mind is not in it you're gonna fall off of it almost immediately so and I think the major mind block that I have is because before I had kids in 2012 I was really into bodybuilding and I entered a few bikini bodybuilding shows and so I even like signed up with this one uh, team where like they would send me my meal plans and my workout plans and it is the best uh, shape I ever got in my life. And so, and whenever they would do the meal plans, it was like six meals a day. So, and obviously me being without any kids, it was a lot easier for me to spend a whole Sunday meal prepping for the week, you know? And I was really good at it. I, I like I said, I, it's the best shape of my life. And, you know, doing two a day workouts and all of that. And so I know the work it takes to get into that shape. And I think in my mind, I'm like, dang, do I have the capacity to commit fully to that lifestyle again? You know, because I've done it once, but it's like, that's the mind block that I have right now. And my husband keeps telling me like, you know what you have to do. I don't understand why you're making it so hard for yourself. You know what you have to do out of my, I know it's self-control, it's discipline, it's, it's all of the things, you know, but again, I'm slowly getting into the mindset, but it was taking a very long time. So if you are in the same boat and like, you just really have to think about like, is what you're doing right now building for the goal that you have in the future, you know? So if you're trying to eat healthier when you go out. I know it's hard whenever you're with friends and family to have that self-control one of my tips is like, if you know you're gonna to go to a restaurant, start looking at the menu beforehand um, so that you can kind of see like, what is the best choice, you know? And then when you get there, don't even open up the menu. Like already have that in your mind, like this is what I'm getting. Um, so that you're not tempted like with the special of the day, you know what I mean? So do your research and again, you just have to be a little bit more prepared and have a little bit more self-control. And I know it's easier said than done, but I think once you get into that mindset, um, I highly recommend reading Atomic Habits. I think it you'll find it very beneficial, especially if there are things that you want to change in your life. Um, and you're kind of, again, like with me with that mind block and, you know, having um, a little bit of a hard time um, stepping over those hurdles. But if you do that, I think, I think you'll be okay. I started buying this cold brew from La Cologne Coffee. It's really good. It, this is the little bit sweet, so it's not super bitter. Uh, and then I just add some almond milk with, with it. Organic. Yeah. Almond milk, and it tastes really good. Um, but I've also been taking this Armra Colostrum. It helps with like immunity. And there's so many beneficial health benefits mainly I took it for immunity because I felt like every once I was getting a lot like more sick like sicker 
how you say it. I was getting sicker more often than I used to. So now I take this and honestly, I cannot even remember the last time that I was feeling down or, um, you know, sick. I would put it in my cold coffee, but I'm not going to. Sometimes I just take it as is. The spoon is like very small, so you can just take it like this. It tastes like baby formula. That's how it tastes like to me. So anyways, to me, I feel like it has been helping. It also says it protects, generated, strengthens. Uh, it's an immune barrier superfood. So this is the unflavored um, version. I don't know if there is other versions, but I just take a, a, a spoon. I just take a scoop. Okay, nothing better than... A shower and your hair out of your face <laughs> after you're taking a shower uh, especially when it's like a hundred degrees a hundred percent humidity outside so today for makeup this has actually been what I've been wearing lately Hi. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> so I've been actually loving this Ilya skin tint this was actually not recommended for my skin tone this is probably about a year ago I had gone into the store to actually get this Ilya and I told the gentleman at Sephora that I had oily skin and he's like I don't recommend this I actually recommend the Laura Mercier or um for you so um I did not get this I got this I do like this uh but I was still like so hung up on Ilya just because like I hear such great things about it so I went ahead and got it and I got this and I also got the foundation stick and I am in love with both. Um, I get what he was saying about this not being good for oily skin because it is a little bit more on the oily side so there is some sheen and stuff to it but personally I am loving the dewy look. Yeah, you can put that on. I am loving the dewy look um, especially in the summer and so um, I've been going a lot more barefaced and so this really helps out. And this is actually a serum. So it has niacinamide, squalene, and hyalo, um, hyaluronic acid. And it also has SPF 40, which is great. I actually have not put any skincare on my face yet. What do I want to put on? I'm going to, yeah, yeah, put like a couple dots right here. I've been noticing that ever since I cleared up my acne, which I'll share a little bit more about my acne story in another video uh but it wasn't like less than five years ago when my face was just blew up um and this is something that i've dealt with all my life so it was nothing new so for me now to like have that under control like i am loving the fair bare-faced look lately like you know whatever i can do to be like less makeup the better so i'll put on this ilia the one thing i don't like about this skin tint is the smell, but again, because it's like natural ingredients and there's no fragrance, um, you're smelling all those like raw minerals or raw ingredients in here. Uh, so that's like the only thing I don't like. It kind of, it kind of smells like, I don't know, like wet dog and like, like drool. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's not a pleasant smell, but it doesn't stay on forever. So it's fine. Do that. I like to go in with this and this is actually a foundation stick so thanks babe so you can actually put this all over like you know you don't have to put the serum but i've been using this kind of like a concealer even though it's not the same consistency as a concealer but i feel like i, I just like really like this one's like super awesome and all the details of all the like the the shades that i use but i just feel like let me see if i can get you off of here of see excuse the mask I really need to like <laughs> fix this counter okay let's see yeah love this thing so good so again if you're okay with like the dewy look I know whenever I had um I was suffering with acne like dewy was like the last thing I wanted to do I needed it to be matte because it just like concealed some of the acne scarring which i still have some acne scarring but at this point i'm like you know what my face is a thousand times better than it was um so i'll just embrace it whatever so
It's Sam's Club time. Let's do it. Okay. Which one? These right here? Are we going to get these again? So the last time we got these, they actually had mold. So you want to make sure that you check it. Hey, I'm not going in the fridge. Go. I, I can't. It's freezing. <laughs> Getting strawberries. Let's get out. Let's get out. Oh. <laughs> you it's, it's too cold in there. Can you see me? I am seeing you. Yeah. These are amazing. I highly recommend them. But I will eat this whole thing in one sitting, so we're not gonna get this. We also like coming for the Beyond Meat. Um, burger patties, but we okay. just bought some, so yeah, we don't need them today. Oh, mom, mom says she can't. Mom says she can't. Well, you're gonna share it. Alright, what else? Mom, you said you can't have any. You said you can't have any because you're, because they're too much for you. What's too much? You said you can't have any because you're gonna eat them all. Didn't have too much that we wanted to get today, but just the essentials: eggs, broccoli. We have a dinner. We usually get like those pre-made meals um, during the week when we're like a little bit busy. Something that I don't really have to cook. I can just pop in the oven, and dinner is made. Uh, especially with Olivia's dance schedule, with which oddly enough she doesn't have dance uh, for the next couple of weeks. We've kind of given her a little break, but June was insane. So. Um, another thing we get here, Josh's protein powder, the Fairlife Core Power is really good. Um, and then I like to get my collagen, this one right here, the unflavored one, is really good. And we got, I think that's all. I think that's all. Okay, after our very successful, <laughs> successful, like, <laughs> did anything, uh, Sam's Club run, we always come out to... The Aguas Fresca, so this uh, business is always, not always, but when they're here, we take advantage and get some Aguas Frescas. They make the best, like, it's so good and refreshing, and you get, like, I'll show you. I'll show okay, you. vamos a hacer la mango piña. Si, sí, por favor. And which other one? This? this is naranja. Orange. Y'all want to try an orange one today? I know. Josh is saying I'm super sweaty, and yes, I'm. It's like you walk outside and it's like a sauna. So I can't help it. It's always my upper lip with the sweat, but. But this is. Mm, so good. So we decided to come bowling because it's a little bit too hot to do anything here. So um, we're. Well, Josh actually researched a couple of places so we're here at palace social never been here before but it looked kind of neat and the food looked really good and obviously it's like lunchtime so we are gonna go check it out and of course the girls are asleep <laughs> it was like a journey to get here <laughs> other side of town so let's go check it out Hi.
go. Anyways, I hope y'all have a great day. We'll chat soon. Bye.